Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> So I was spending the day thinking, okay, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for the next few months with videos. And I'm sitting here kind of writing them all down in a list going, okay, I could do this and this. And then as I'm looking through the list at the end, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do any of that yet, <laughs> especially for doing it by Monday, because I've got a lot of other stuff that I have to do today and tomorrow and the day and the day is already half over. So. I thought, oh, Anthony, remember NaNoWriMo? Remember when you used to do vlogs? What? Maybe you should do a writing vlog like you used to. You keep saying you want to do them, but you end up not doing them. You end up forgetting them. The writing vlogs be like, am I a joke to you? I have a new fun thing that I got for Christmas where it's a little bracket that holds onto my phone and I got a little handheld, so I'm currently using that. So there will be less footage of me dropping my phone on me. Samantha, <laughs> gonna be smiling and ooh. <laughs> No more random footage of me dropping my phone. The world will have to deal with that. My plan for the afternoon is to get some editing done because I have to rewrite chapter 20 quite a bit, quite a bit for the Mark Taros. I do not like its direction at all. It's gonna have to be completely scrapped and rewritten to probably, I'm probably not gonna keep much of anything, maybe a paragraph or two, I don't know, but I have to get that done by Tuesday because I refuse to put it up on Patreon. Because, like I've said before, I, the thought of putting unedited work up online just kind of makes me a little eh. <gasps> My soul will wither and die if I do that. Especially, especially because I have to rewrite it so much. The chapter's purpose was to show how low Zach has fallen, but in reality, now it kind of has flipped a little bit. It's now more of a determination to outsmart the bad guy. And of course, that's just gonna fall on his face. So <laughs> then we'll have some of the self-loathing. <laughs> because I love it. We torture our characters as much as possible. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Characters are like geodes. You must break them to know what they are made of. I guess that means I better stop talking and putting off all of this editing because I can just feel the procrastination just burning every part of my soul. We don't want to write and edit. We just want to be a potato in the garden. Mm -hmm. Enough stalling, Anthony. Let's get to work. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? So I actually managed to get some editing and writing done. I am thrilled. It took me a while to get focused because for some reason I have been feeling far more ADD lately. Like I can't focus anymore. I wonder why that is. wonder why that is. Why can't I focus? Do you have an answer for me? There is no answer available now is there? No answer whatsoever. So the chapter that I was supposed to get done for Tuesday, I actually figured out how I want the chapter to go and I'm so thrilled. It's so interesting because what was once a kind of slightly darker uh, chapter with lots of maybe self-loathing and, and, and fear became a chapter of light within that fear. And I think it's amazing. And I love it. 
we get to see a side of Zach that is there when he doesn't have so much pressure. Even though he still has that pressure, he was able to manifest this side of him and this part of his personality that can help his friends and cheer up their day. And so I'm really happy about it. I love that the chapter turned out like that. If you're gonna have some bad times in a story, then you need to have some good times to lighten that, to give relief. And I love that relief. It's near and dear in the stories that I've read. I read a lot of those types of stories in fan fiction, and if there's just a lot of bad stuff happening to all of the characters, and there's no relief, then it gets exhausting. And so I need to make sure that I do that with my own stories. And those are the best parts, and I love them. Finally kind of feeling thrilled about writing something. Not that I haven't, it's just been more of, I gotta do this, I gotta do this chapter, I gotta do this, and, and, and so I'm finally kind of feeling a little bit more of that joy and happy when it comes to writing. This has been a wonderful, productive writing. I am excited and thrilled about that. I needed that. If you feel like you're getting exhausted with your own work, maybe you just need a funny moment. Maybe that's what you need. Some happy times. Zelda, do we need happy times? <laughs> yes, I might have gotten distracted today. Happily distracted by the roller coaster that is season three of Anne with an E. Thank you so much for watching this easygoing writing vlog. Until next time, bye. <laughs>